Uh, that's about the commodity markets. Let's get back to stock-specific action. Kiri Industries is the company on our radar now. The stock has surged away in trade after the Singapore International Commercial Court confirmed the value of company's stake in Dystar. Uh, to understand what this means, because there has been a, uh, an increase in the valuation as well, because company holds some stake in Dystar and they were supposed to receive some money. Uh, the, uh, we are now joined by Manish Kiri, the managing director of Kiri Industries, to explain what this really means for the company. Mr. Kiri, uh, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, well, it is a positive order for you. The stock is higher by 10% and it has been ongoing for so long, right? Uh, can you tell us if this is the final order? Valuation has increased around $630 million. By when do you expect to receive it? Because Senda, which is supposed to give you this money for the uh, stake that you hold in Dystar, did default is something that you tell us, uh, you told us in January as well. Are you sure you'll be receiving this money? And if yes, by when? Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. And this is the final number. This is the final judgment. And this judgment from SICC gives an effect to the Supreme Court's decision taken last year in 2022. So there is no more legal proceedings in terms of the amount or value in KD state. This is the final order which we have received now. Um, the enforcement and recovery of this order will start uh, from today onwards. It may take few months. Uh, we don't know the exit timeline. Only thing I can say right now is, is the order is due, due to pay and due to execute buyout on an immediate basis as soon as this order is available. So, so we'll try to see how fast we can expedite the recovery and enforcement of the order. So if the order says the money has to be paid immediately, why are you not confident about it coming? Why do you think that uh, the actual amount will be realized only a couple of months later? Um, going through many years of legal battle, um, going through uh, several times, you know, multiple times in the court, uh, we expect some kind of delay. So to be to be cautious, um, and 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 we don't know the response from from Senda, uh, even though they have enough cash to to buy uh, to to execute the buyout order, but we hope uh, that it could be earlier. And and I. Um, I don't want to give the indication unless and until we have the certainty approaching or coming for transfer and for execution of buyout. All right, Mr. Kiri, thanks for joining us. This is Pavitra. So, you know, since you yourself are expecting at least a couple of months here, I mean, Senda has defaulted earlier, like my colleague Sonal was pointing out as well. What if this payment does not come through? What is the recourse that's available then? Uh, if the payment doesn't come through, if by any chance the, the order is dishonored by the other party, then the due course will take place and then, then the alternate remedy will trigger and court will look into the, uh, the enforcement and court would link, look into the other alternatives to, uh, to, to recover this money and, and transfer to Kerry. Okay. Mr. Kerry, you know, uh, I have been tracking it for a long time. It's been a long battle that you've had with Senna and Dystar as well. Can you tell us what kind of uh, costs have you paid, the legal costs around this one? And if you do realize the money and it is a big amount, what do you think this will be used for? See, so the, uh, the cost which has incurred has been incurring since 2015. We are almost eight years in the legal fight. And if I accumulate the legal costs which we have incurred so far uh, for the last eight years, including the expenses, lawyers, valuers, and number of other expenses which are uh, which are related to the legal cases, must be close to more than fifty million dollars. Okay. Okay. Uh, could you give us? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, once right, the. For One, the use of yeah. the funds, hmm. of the proceeds, sorry, I'm coming to your second hmm. question which you asked. Uh, that has not been decided yet. Uh, company has already formed a committee for the further investment and, and we will look into the possibilities of where we can go from here. But I can tell you that the next phase of investments and expansions and the new sectors which we will enter into would define a new platform for Kiri. Mm. And and I'm sure that the board will will take a prudent decision on where to invest. There is a special committee already formed, and we will see. You know, once the once the funds are coming, proceedings we will come with the announcements after scrutinizing where the investments are to be made in the best interest of the shareholders. Could you give us an indication then, uh, Mr. Kiri, how demand is? 
Q3 has been rough. In fact, the first nine months, your revenue loss has been close to 45%. And you did indicate that the industry down downtrend is likely to continue in Q4. How has demand yeah. been uh, currently? Any numbers that you could share? Uh, demand is almost uh, close to half. And that is mainly on account of exports of dyes, intermediates, and related products. So this year has been one of the toughest year for the industry as well as for us. And we see now things changing a little bit. I am not too optimistic for the next couple of quarters, but we see revival on the domestic uh, recovery. We see revival on the domestic textile sectors now uh, increasing the demands. Um, we still continue to see slackness in the export market due to several reasons. One is the sharply drop in cotton prices where everyone is cautious right now. Second, places like Turkey, Bangladesh, um, Indonesia, uh, you know, going through their own uh, problems. And those are the reasons that the export dependency uh, is, uh, is causing some kind of delay in recovery. But we see strong recovery from domestic market in the next few quarters. Okay, strong recovery from the domestic market. Um, sir, how much does uh, exports contribute to your overall revenue? Almost 50%. Uh, export and domestic stands for half and half. Okay. For our total revenue. Okay, just one final question on the margins. Can you tell us what you expect there? I do know a lot of your raw materials are, you know, crude based. We have been talking about how the crude prices have been very volatile, you know, through at least uh, the past year or so. Can you tell us what's going on on the margin front and where you see that, say, in the next year? Uh, margins are under pressure right now, yeah. but for the next year, we see at least we come back to 10 to 12 percent or better as an as an overall performance. Okay. All right, Mr. Kiri, always pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us. So the stock is logged in upper circuit today, up 20 percent in the last two days. Uh, they are still expecting to receive the money, but of course, that will take some months and years as far as proceedings are concerned as well. Let's slip into a short break. When we return, we'll discuss market technicals with Mitesh Thakkar of EarningWaves.com and also discuss his top trading bets. Stay tuned for that.